strum patterns. Strum patterns are some of the most aggravating things when you're just starting guitar. Uh, it's just so hard to get into that flow. It's so hard to get comfortable with your guitar uh, and just like get a nice strum down. But in this lesson, I will show you exactly how you can kind of move into uh, being really good at strumming and getting to that point where you can pretty much see any song, hear any song, and immediately do a good strum pattern. So here we go. So I'll be going over several different kinds of strum patterns here. Um, the first one that I'm gonna be talking about is just the generic. Now, of course, you can kind of apply that um, to a lot of different songs, but this is kind of the base, you know. That is the base strum pattern you can pretty much do any song with. It's just kind of feeling the rhythm and it's getting with the tempo. So if it's a really fast song, it's. But if it's a slow song, it's. Up and down motions. So those are kind of the two different strum patterns, and I'm sure that you could hear that, but um, you know, it's, those are the two different kinds of strum patterns that you can use in most situations. So how you usually figure out a strum pattern is not that difficult when you know the song by heart, when you can really get into the rhythm and the feel of it. That's why the OGS concept is um, if you know a song really well, you can get into the rhythm, you can get uh, with the flow of the song, and it just makes it about 10 times easier. Okay, so there are three different points that I would like to go over. I believe they are already written out for you, um, but I would also like, I would very much like to touch on them right now, just so you can get kind of a different wording possibly. So number one is know the rhythm. Number one is know the rhythm. If you know the rhythm, you can pretty much play any song. Number two, start off slow and deliberate. Keep it consistent. Make your strum patterns really strong, really firm, and make it so that uh, there really isn't a way that you can mess up. Now, I'm going to grab my guitar here, and I will show you a good example. So. Let's just say you're playing a song, right? Um, and you're learning it for the first time and it's got kind of a complicated strum pattern. Now, if you try and start off fast with kind of an, uh, an odd chord progression you've never really played before, it can sound something like this. Which, you know, of course, you don't want that to sound like that. Um, so if you press down hard with your fingers, um, up here on the strings, and you play slow, deliberate, and consistent. Uh, that's when you can really get into the feel and in the rhythm, so. <clears throat> okay, so number three, and this is probably uh, one of the most important parts, using the right kind of pick. So the pick that I would recommend for all you guys is a Dunlop, 0.50 millimeter pick. This one is really nice uh, for so that like you can get a nice strum pattern. Uh, it doesn't give much resistance. It's really thin so that you can kind of get into the rhythm a lot easier without having to push really hard or being awkward and uncomfortable. So I'll give you a demonstration here. So this is just with my fingernail and this is pretty similar to like um, how it would be if you guys were to use a traditional pick. So it kind of plucks each string really weird, uh, it gives too much force, it you know, sounds really edgy and sharp, uh, and that's what you don't want. And it also is really hard to push up and down um, and get into the feel and the rhythm. But with this, um, you know, it's a lot softer and you can get into the rhythm. There's not that uh, extra force, you know, it's really, it's really, uh, really nice for consistency uh, and comfort. So. So with that, um, you, you really have um, a nice and consistent sound. There might be a little bit of buzz from the string, um, a little bit of a sound like that. I don't know if you can hear that at all. 
Um, but that just will come because the pick is so thin and it's kind of snapping back. Um, but you know, it's much better than using a traditional pick.